All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise and glory and honors unto Yahweh by Shemi Awashai, by Shem Kaku Dash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of the Great Millstone. So I want to the hopeful elect. This is the Preacher Zyron from JMS Atlanta. Back with another edifying lesson. We are now in the year 2021. Um, and uh, <clears throat> the Apostle Har has named this year the year of uh, hasting. Of the coming of the day of the Lord. All right. Um, brothers had watched it last night as uh, the uh, the so-called New Year came in. And this is our duty as men, as watchmen of Israel to to look for these things, to look for the prophecies, to look for certain events according to the scriptures to happen. You know, of course, the main thing is prophecy. And by doing so, that is hastening the day. That's our job. Our job is to 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 work so that Yahweh Bashman was shy can deliver us from this evil in this wicked kingdom. OK. Um, so. You know, I believe through the spirit, things are going to move quick, quick this year. Um, things are going to move in a very impactful way for the hopeful elect of Yahweh Bashmi Um And also, too, that Esau is going to go down. OK, that Esau is going to be destroyed soon. You know, more and more things are going to happen here in America. All right. More and more things are going to happen around the world that the elites of Esau are not going to be able to control. They're not going to have no solution. And that's in the scriptures because, you know, uh, uh, um, the prophecy in Isaiah 47 talks about them not getting any more power from their uh, their sorcerers, you know, consulting with these demons, you know, and. Um, so where does all that power going to co you know uh, go to? That's going to go to the elect, man. You know, so us hastening the day and and and, and, and continuing to work the work of Yahweh Shemuel was shy, then the power through the spirit is going to go from Esau and go to to us, okay? Who who it rightfully belongs to? So I want to get a scripture. Um, we all know the scripture. Uh, this is Second uh, Peter, the third chapter, and I think this is the perfect chapter for me through the Spirit to to uh, bring in this um, this hastening of the day of the Lord, 2021. So it says, this is Second Peter three and one. It says, this second epistle, beloved, I now write unto you, and both which I stir up your pure minds by way of remembrance. Okay. It says that ye may be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets and of the commandment of us, the apostles of the Lord and Savior. So these are things for us to ponder upon, think upon, according to the scriptures. You know, you got a lot of Israelites with gimmicks and things like that. But what Peter wrote to us here is that we're supposed to be meditating on the words of the Lord. Okay. It says the words that were spoken before by the Holy Prophet. So the prophecies, man, because that's how we're going to know that Yahweh Shah is going to return. All right. Now it says, knowing this first, that there shall come in the last day scoffers walking after their own lusts. And that's, uh, of course, other Israelites. All right. But also the people in the world as well, walking after their own way of life. You know, it says in saying, where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep. All things continue as they were, were from the beginning. It says, for since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. And a lot of our people say that. A lot of so-called black Spanish and Native Americans feel like the Israelite, the Hebrew Israelites are just another religion or this is another movement. Um, they hear what we say and they disregard our words. Yet when you analyze and you break down what and I'm and, and 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 this is for all the Israelite groups, 
we we pretty much telling our people that look, we are the chosen of the heavenly Father and His Son, and that He's going to do great and wonderful things for us. The same things that we read about in the Bible, you know. But people they continue to 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 think that um that uh things are uh going to continue. You know, twenty twenty one is going to be the year. You know, we're going to bounce back from this this year of 2020, you know. And really, in, in truth be told, the only thing that's going to happen is more death, more destruction, more evils for the wicked uh, of this world. But also that means protection and blessings from Yahweh Bashmiyah was shy for those that, that are sincerely seeking him and that are doing the right thing. All right, so now this is verse 5. It says, For this they willingly are ignorant of, that by the word of the Most High the heavens were of old, and the earth standing out of the water and in the water, going back to the creation, Genesis, the elements coming together. It, it was by the word of the Heavenly Father that all these things that we see in us being in existence was created by the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Okay? Through Yahweh shining the angels in the beginning. Okay? It was by the word of the Lord. It wasn't by some big bang, but but the world believes in that. So they're going to be a wiggling, willingly ignorant to what we have to say. Now it says, whereby the world that then was being overflowed with water perished. And that and it, it's a it, it, it's a uh, common story all over the world in different cultures going back thousands of years uh, that there was a great deluge or flood. And the scriptures, they speak about the flood, which was because of the wickedness that was in the earth at that time and that Noah and his family were saved. OK, and that's how we are here today. That was preserved in the history that the Israelites got, which we have now the Bible. All right. Now, verse seven, it says, but the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word are kept in store. So it's, it's all the Lord, man. So the things that we are mindful of by the prophets, these are the things that are, are, are coming to pass day to day, week to week, month to month, and year to year. You know, this is why the Spirit can come upon the Apostle the heart and coin these years in the Spirit. Because it's all about the word of the Lord. We're looking for these prophecies. We're hastening the day of the time to come for the deliverance of the children of Israel. It says... But by the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. And the ungodly men in the earth, starting with the so-called white men, which is Esau, they're going to be a part, a part of that fiery judgment, along with wicked so-called black Spans and Native Americans, Israelites and others around the world. OK, it says now, but beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing. So, so stop. Which you're, you're, you're thinking of what, you know, what your will is. You can't be ignorant of what's going on. We're not saying these things for no reason. We're not hastening the day and we're not repeating the same things and scriptures over and over again for no reason. Okay? This is the purpose, all right? But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years and a thousand years is one day. So the Lord's time is not your time. You know? The Lord's time is not your time or our time as men on the earth. Okay? The Heavenly Father's time is within his own power. Okay? It says, The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness. Oh, yeah, the Lord, he, you know, Israelites been out here for 40, 50 years. We, yeah, I seen them in New York, or I seen them here, or I went to this school, or I seen the video. Y'all always talk about that. Yeah, you know, we, people always been saying the word that, it's going in. But that's the point. The point is the world is ending. So now where do you think you stand when the Heavenly Father judges this place? This is why it's important not to be ignorant, man. Okay. But now it says the Lord is not slack concerning his promise as some men count slackness. So what do uh, 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 men do in the earth? They slack off. They slack off and they get foolish, man. No, we almost out of here. We're not going to have to worry about marching for any more George Floyds and Breonna Taylors, man. 
The Lord is going to put his people in a position of rulership to where we're going to be in peace and we're going to dictate how the earth moves and what people are doing. And that's going to be according to the word, to his law. OK. And finally, we as a race of people can get justice, man. But that's only through your how shy. You know, so we're not going to be uh, uh, um, dealing with this BS that we're dealing with now. This is a beautiful thing that we're involved in, and that's what's going to happen for us, man. Now it says, the Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long-suffering to usward, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. So this is speaking about who? Going back to, let's get the context. This is speaking about the uh, uh, epistles and letters of Peter written to the Israelites that uh, 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 were in Jerusalem and around at that time period. And that was written for our um, time now for us that believe in Yahweh Shah as Israelites to get this word, man. So this is to the Israelites, okay? Um, so that the, the, the elect, the chosen of the Israelites can, can, can repent and turn back to him. It says, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night and in which the heavens shall pass away with the great noise and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are in that sh therein shall be burned up. And how is that going to happen? That's going to happen through the, the arrows. OK, that's going to happen through the nuclear missiles in these last days uh, that are going to be shot by Russia and other countries to destroy America. And the land of Israel and other places around the world. But the land of Israel is going to be rebuilt and America is not going to be rebuilt. But this kingdom and this world that we're living in now, this wicked world is going to be destroyed. And the, and the nuclear fire is what's going to s cement that judgment, man. OK, now it talks about how the, it's going to come um, in the middle of the night. I mean, as a thief in the night. But it's not as a thief in the night to the elect. And brothers that brought this out uh, last night, I think even the Pastor Hart that brought this out last night. But um, let's get this chapter so I can show you that those of us the elect, we understand what's going on. This is First Thessalonians 5 and 1. But of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. I just read that in Second Peter 3, right? It says, for when they shall say peace and safety. And how is Esau going to say peace and safety? Okay, here's the, here's the, uh, uh, the inoculation, you know, take the shot. Uh, here's, and ultimately, here's the microchip. This is what's going to link you to everything in this new system, in this new normal. Okay, that's that peace and safety. So now people can get back to the lives, the wicked lives that they've been living. But now it says, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child and they shall not escape. So these people are going to be left out there because they're not seeing what we see. It says, but ye brethren are not in darkness. It says, but ye brethren are not in darkness. That they that that day should overtake you as a thief. So it's not going to be a thief in the in the night to us. Why? Because we're watching the prophecies. Because we're hastening the day, bringing it back to the point. It says, "You are all the children of light and the children of the day." Why? Because we can see through the Spirit, the Holy Spirit. We are not of the night nor of darkness, meaning we're not distracted by the ways of this world anymore. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. What are we watching for? We're watching for Yahweh Shah's return. For they that sleep, sleep in the night, and they that be drunken are drunken in the night. And that's talking about this world is in darkness. This world is asleep. This world does not understand what's going on. Okay. But let us, uh, but let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love. We have faith. That the Lord is going to perform his word day by day and love one another because we know that we're going to be ruling together. We're, we're, go, we're going to have that love among so-called black people again, among so-called Hispanic and Native American people again. Why? Because we understand that we are all the same people and we're all Israelites, the, the uh, princes of the Heavenly Father. 
It says, and for an helmet, the hope of salvation. Okay. For the Most High hath not appointed us to wrath. So we talk about the destruction and the martial law and the camps and the microchip and the, the evil things that's coming. But it's not for us. The wrath is not for us. It says, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Yahweh Shai. That's what we're going to get. Those of us that continue on to the end, we're going to get salvation. That's why the scripture says, be not curious about how the ungodly shall be punished. All right. Because why? Because we're supposed to be worried about how we're going to be saved, man. It says, uh, for the most high has not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Yahweh Shai, who died for us, that together we wake or sleep, we should live together with him. No matter, hey, we, if brother passed, that's all right. Because he's going to be with the Heavenly Father in the spirit world. He's in Israel. He's going to come back in the kingdom. And those of us that are alive, we're going to be delivered. Wherefore, comfort yourselves together and edify one another, even as ye also do. So this year is like a a uh, continuation on us for us to keep doing the right thing, man, hastening the day. So now I'm going to go back to 2 Peter 3, okay? Verse 11. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought you to be in all holy conversation and godliness, looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of the Most High Power, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat, so we're supposed to be looking for and hasting, man. Watching the prophecies, being mindful of the words written by the prophets. It says, nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth where we enjoy the righteousness. Uh, and that's the, the, the end for us, you know. Wherefore, beloved, seeing that you look for such things, be diligent. Continue to work. Okay. That's how that's really how you hasten the day. That ye may be found of him in peace, without spot, and blameless. All right? So this is, uh, you know, I wanted to bring this out through the Spirit, you know, to continue the haze and day, the haze and day, and watch for the prophecies, watch for the things that's going on, because our salvation is near, man. All right? And the destruction of our enemies is at hand. So with that, you know, I want to give our praises, our glory, our honors. Unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakudash, double honor to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone. Uh, let this, you know, I hope this is edifying, and Lord willing, this will be an edifying year for us as we continue to go into the uh, this so called new year, 2021, the year of haze in the day of the coming of our Lord. And with that, I'm going to say, Shalom.